long time no video but I am trying to get back and today I am talking about the Fortnum and Mason's Margaret Hope tea. Hello and welcome back to my channel Hannah Roos Tea talking pretty much everything about loose leaf tea. I know it has been an absolute age since I put up anything on here honestly and it's excuse after excuse um, of not having produced any either video content or anything on my blog. <sighs> nah, just stuff happened, life and everything. But I want to be back because you know what? I do miss tea and you know really having that interest and that conversation with people about tea and everything kind of goes along um, around it. Um, my husband Joshua has recently got into coffee so I'm having a, have had a lot more coffee lately but I'm trying to get back into tea because actually I don't think the coffee's been very good for me. I get very angsty and all the time. So anyway I am coming back to tea. Over the last two and a bit years since I posted, done anything, um, I have um, accumulated a um, box of goodies really um, and maybe I will go through do it as a haul video thing um, but I essentially just thought I'd kind of go through it some I have have been drinking uh, but to be honest not a lot lately um, but I um, have decided to do one tea for the moment but we'll talk about the others another time so I don't know if I have ever declared a favourite tea or a favourite type of tea, but I have to say I am quite partial to a Darjeeling. Um, I think it's the fact that it's, you know, the best tea. Someone used to say um, it's the champagne of tea. I don't like necessarily saying it like that because actually not everyone likes champagne. Big, big fan of it because it is that in-between flavour of like not quite a strong black tea, but you don't have that um the greener flavors that you do with green but it's not as mild as a white tea so um to be honest i don't have all the information to hand and it's appalling to come back with a half-assed attempt but as i said i want to try and get back to it so i i'm, I'm going to do with what i have got to hand with what i have in my head a good long time ago and we went to london because obviously fortnum and mason's is a favourite place to go for um, for the loose leaf teas, though the bag teas and the more tra traditional, the, the sort of um, everyday teas are lovely, but it is great that they have these kind of, um, these bags, they've, uh, they, they've changed their bag design, which has been quite good because now it has a seal um, ziplock, this is a ziplock, but they have the sealed bit. Um, so, fresh up and longer, um, to be honest, this was quite a while ago that I got it, but, um, so it's probably not as fresh, which is awful, but I think that tea can last for some time, maybe. I don't know, it's probably going to be awful, but uh, my video, not the tea, the tea's going to be lovely, I know it is. Um, but, um, I am going to talk today about Margaret's Hope tea, and I think either I got this in London when I went up with my mum and my sister or my parents went up and I do when I can try and get the cards that um has all the information put an insert for it here um but that has all the information on it which I have found really handy and they are great as kind of um key cards no that's the wrong word but cards to to, to put along with the tea especially if you're remembering kind of key information from it uh, so I don't have that, so I don't actually have specific information about this tea, all it says is Margaret's Hope. Uh, so I don't know the ins and outs of the tea. But one of the top flavours on um, Fortnum's have got this um, rather brilliant sort of handbook for teas on their website. On here I've got Margaret's Hope Second Flush FT FTGFOP, meaning because this shows how long I've talked about tea for. Finest tippy golden flowery orange pico, which means an exceptionally high FOP. Um, 
maybe we can talk about this in another video maybe um so on the this handbook the um margaret's hope second flush ftg fop um it says a golden tea with definitive definite a golden tea with definite muscle character this second flush is from margaret's hope garden so christened in 1927 when the estate owner's daughter fell in love with the area and i do remember hearing about this a while ago um i think when i was doing my tea training um about the hang on let me give my notes um about the tea estate um to be honest i don't know the ins and outs of that i will talk about more about the um ins and outs of the uh from what i can find about the um tea estate um because i don't have all of that to hand and i don't want to miss partner with what's going on in here so um but essentially it was the estate owner's uh, daughter loved the estate when she visited and um unfortunately she died on her way back to england um and wasn't able to come back so they re which i think is a really beautiful story um to add to the tea so this tea The camera didn't die. So, not that I have much left because actually, I think I, this tea I have quite drunk. Quite drunk? This tea I have drunk quite a bit of. So, it is small but mostly black um, leaves with. I'll do zoom in. Um, with um, little tippy soft um, bits. There's sort of some green in it as well, but it is a. Um, it's a very nice um black tea again that very um muscatel um and i'm back sorry for the sudden change of lighting and possible angle um my camera battery died and um yes i had to wait for that to charge up so i was talking about the dried leaves and um as much as i can smell from down here no they are quite fragrant and they have that kind of um traditional tea smell um but with sort of an added m that muscatel um almost kind of like those notes of caramel that is what makes for me darjeeling so lovely um it doesn't smell doesn't smell off or old like um other of the um dark teas um salon or or the pur teas that i've had kind of lately uh, not that they're off or old but just that that sort of scale of um intensity that you get with with those flavors whereas this is just very nice i brewed um in this little will this focus probably not yes it might um in this a uh, little glass teapot um just because it's very pretty and i like it and um i just thought it would be nice to do it in in that one again so i did two teaspoons ish oh, i should have measured the water but kind of up to there kind of um and it has made the one cup brewed for two minutes so a little under because for me that's what i like um possibly could do a bit more but we'll see so it's got and because i've got now got my ring light up so you're gonna see that in the reflection um it has got a lovely um get all this focus um it's got a lovely golden amber hue um i feel like i want to say like a nice ale or something it possibly is to my eye though in the camera it looks a bit different and um, is a bit misty but i don't know if that's just because um i have left the i did leave it out for a bit longer than i probably normally would um but actually it looks almost a little bit lighter in person but it has got a kind of that nice vibrancy and intensity of color um again you get that really lovely that that muscatel darjeeling-y um scent with it um almost notes of caramel i know i say this an awful lot in tea um again because i under slightly um 
I don't get that intensity of flavour that verges sometimes on kind of um, too strong and you get that bitterness and astringency. You probably could go three minutes um, with this and to be honest I might re-brew later because I think it could actually you'd get those different levels of flavour. It's just really good tea. It's lovely. You get that kind of I suppose it's what we think tea tastes like that kind of not even the asami but it's just you get that tea flavor but it's so light and beautiful and but yeah this is a beautiful beautiful tea I get a bit of a coating uh, not a flavor coating not an actual coating around the tongue it's n neutral almost like it's not sweet but it's not savory and i'm trying to think of like a booty equivalent but like it's not super sickly sweet but neither is it a savoury flavour like you get with the greens where you get more kind of spinachy, um, cucumbery flavours. This is, I suppose it's like a a nice, like a brioche roll that you'd have with a burger. So it's not that you're having a sweet roll with a burger, but it is sweet compared to a brown bun or something. It's, it's just, oh, it's just lovely. It's got a nice lightness in flavour. Um, you know it'd be really good accompanying with with a dessert maybe like a actually i had a really good crumble today friends julian richard made rhubarb apple ginger crumble and it's sort of something like this would go really well with it because it wouldn't overpower the flavor but it could hold enough on its own to partner with it if that makes sense let's give the wet leaves so they i'm not gonna pull them out um, not that you're massively going to be able to see, possibly not, maybe. Oh, the leaves have opened up and they're kind of that mix of green going into brown. So that has got the flecks of brown, uh, green in it. Just even the wet leaves smell nice. It's got that, almost that, it is an intenser smell of the, um, I'm going to say muscatel because that's the flavour that, that, that is mostly associated with Darjeeling. But I have missed tea. And it's, it's like those, those smells that, they're just comforting and... No, that's not exp explaining a smell. Um, got that sweetness and that um, bit of freshness to it. Gosh, I'm really rusty. I can't think of words. I feel like if you sort of take away white tea as as what people expect from tea, that's not doing it with one finger, doesn't really work. Expect from tea. I feel like because because white tea is absolutely gorgeous. Love white tea, but this is what tea was made for. I feel like in you know flavor and me and then the the stuff that gets sold elsewhere that we typically drink is just a the the you know the lesser cousin of it's not even a cousin it's a far distant relation that we did not know existed compared to this oh it smells so good it's just oh. You can see why people call Darjeeling the champagne of teas. Even though, to be honest, you wouldn't like this. It's in its own whole arena. It, and like, you just can't compare. And probably, yes, you know, the, the flushes and the years and stuff will make a difference. But just compared to normal tea, this is just far, far better. So good. Well, so this was shockingly poor on my part. I am so rusty with words and flavours, so I'm going to have to get back to it. But um, it's nice to be back and um, talking to people, talking to myself really. No, I don't know if anyone's watching. Um, but it is lovely to be talking about tea and trying tea again because I do feel like I've missed it. Um, and I'm going to try and get back to it. It's just a bit of a pain going out places and asking for tea if you're not going to a specific place that serves good tea and if you ask for tea you normally just get a tea bag i don't really want that now i know i haven't done a very good job at describing it but i would recommend the uh, margaret's hope um not that i have much information to go with it other than the estate information it is a delightfully gorgeous wonderful tea so i would definitely um if you're ever near the fortnum mason's um um do go and um, try to get some Margaret's Hope or I'm sure we can 
we i'm sure we can order it online i'll try and find um some links for it and put it down below in the description box i will do some blog posts do a blog post and write that and put that down below but i apologize again for abandoning this channel for the last couple of years um um i do want to get back to it and um it would be wonderful to know what people are drinking people are enjoying um and how we can just bring the tea revival back still not there like coffee is but i hope everyone is doing well despite these difficult times i will try to do some more videos um can't promise anything but i will try to do some more videos but if you are new here it would be wonderful if you could subscribe and if you're a i'm gonna say like it's not even long term because i've not been here that long term but if you have been here for a while now um it would just be nice to know how everyone is doing and um what videos people would like to see if if i can get back to it